So your pot is ready to be glazed. The first thing you need to do is come up with a plan for what colors you will glaze it. So you'll get back your original sketch out and some colored pencils and decide on a color scheme. So which colors do you wanna use? So you're also going to need to look at the glazes in your art room. And this is a chart of the glazes that I have and they're circled if we actually have that color. So once I find colors that I want on the chart, get colored pencils to somewhat match those colors, I'm going to make a plan on my thumbnail. It's especially important to have a plan because the colors that I paint on here are going to look different in their raw state than they will look when they come out of the kiln. So I've chosen blue, black, purple, and gray. And this is what they'll look like when they come out of the kiln. But this is what they look like now gray, black, blue, and purple. So when I paint those on here, it's just gonna look like chalky, kind of muted colors. So it's really important to have a plan, All right? So once I have a plan, I'm going to get some sandpaper to sand any rough edges off my pottery. So this one has already been sanded and washed, but it's simple. You're just going to sand. Anywhere that you feel like it's a little rough or bumpy, you want to sand it off. So this is um, some 150 grit, so it's kind of gentle for not crazy problems. If you've got a crazy problem, a really sharp or bumpy area, you may want to get the coarser. This is a 50 grit, so it's a coarser sandpaper. So once you've sanded it, you're going to rinse it under the sink. This is an important step. The kiln makes dust, the sanding makes dust. And when there's dust on it, if you put the glaze over it, when I fire it again, the glaze will flake off because the dust will be between the pot and the glass. So the glaze is essentially glass. All right, so once I've sanded and rinsed it off, I'm ready to add my glaze. So I will look at my plan and start with the colors. So I'm gonna start with blue. I'm using just regular paint brushes and I'm painting on, I know these spirals are an area that are gonna be blue. Um, I, of course, shook these very well before I even opened them. It's like baking a cake, right? If your ingredients aren't properly mixed, this is not gonna work. I'm gonna be careful with trying to get things in the edges. You've got to really focus because you need to remember that you're doing three coats and it's really simple to forget what coat you're on. Even I do that. So this is my first coat. So I do this one coat on everything that I want to be blue. It dries pretty quickly. Once it dries, I'll do the second coat. Again, let it dry, do the third coat. So the instructions say three coats. However, I'm gonna suggest an exception for two areas, all right? I personally like the entire piece of pottery covered with at least one layer of glaze. And sometimes you could, some people like to leave the bottom not glazed so it doesn't get stuck in the kiln. Um, but I've got some little metal feet that we can put this up on to keep it from being stuck in the kiln, but still only one layer of glaze for the base and for areas where there's a lid. And here's why. This glaze, once it's fired, is gonna be thick. It's gonna be like a thick layer of glass. So if it's too thick down here, even with the little metal feet, this could get stuck to the shelf on the kiln. And if your pottery gets stuck to the kiln shelf, I will have to use a hammer to get it out and you will have no more pot. So one layer on the base. Also, anything with a lid, right? If this gets too thick, it may no longer fit. So one layer on this insert of the lid so that it doesn't become too snug, all right? Um, you do wanna paint the inside of your pottery. If you paint the whole thing this with food safe glaze, which the Amico is food safe glaze, you will be able to eat or drink out of this should you want to do that. Uh, lastly, please do your glazing on a piece of paper just to help with cleanup. 